Today, I will show you how to use countdown, menu, horizontal line, HTML row, and FAQ elements. We arrive now at an assortment of highly useful elements that you can utilize for your desired page objectives and goals. The first one we'll cover is the countdown element. Just like any other element, a countdown can easily be added to your page simply by dragging and dropping it into position. Upon clicking on the countdown, settings for the element will appear to your left. Here is where you select your preferred type of countdown. We offer three primary options, a fixed time and date countdown, a delay countdown, and a daily countdown. The usage varies depending on your purpose. Countdowns are typically used to create a sense of urgency around a promotion or event, indicating that once the countdown is over, the offer will no longer be accessible to your visitors. You have control over what action is to occur once the countdown expires. You have two main choices, either nothing happens, or it redirects to a URL. An example would be if you're launching a course with an early bird sale ending on a specified date, you can configure it so that once the countdown ends, visitors are redirected to a new page where you notify them that the promotion or sale has ended. Next, we have the menu element. It's a versatile tool that's great for any part of your page, especially if you're designing a more content-rich page where you want your visitors to access multiple links and be redirected to other pages. This element can contain an array of items. Simply click on it to start populating your menu items. You merely need to input a name, this will be the caption displayed on the menu, and then the link. This way, when a visitor clicks on it, they will be redirected to any destination you've specified. Next, we have the horizontal line element. Purely a design feature, this element doesn't hold a specific technical function but can be used for aesthetic purposes to divide sections or anywhere you'd like a line divider. Another highly valuable tool is the HTML row element. This comes into play when you want to incorporate some code or script or any kind of code to the web page, essentially to display an external element sourced from elsewhere. You simply add this element and click on it to access the space to paste or input your code. The code you place here will be reflected on the page as the actual element you are aiming to integrate. Finally, we come to the FAQ element. FAQ, standing for Frequently Asked Questions, is an extremely important tool to have if you find you get asked the same questions repeatedly by your clients or can foresee questions related to your offerings. This tool can save you a considerable amount of time. By clicking on the element, dropping it wherever you wish to have it, and adding questions, you can conveniently provide the necessary information. For each question, you can provide an answer using an element. For example, you can use a text element to type your response or even provide an answer in video format. You're free to select any element to utilize as your response option.